Good morning. It is Sunday. Um, woke up at six this morning. I'm gonna say six, even though I woke up at the two three times. But I do feel rested today compared to the other days, and I feel like I went to sleep at a decent time. Now I'm dressed. I'm gonna head out and do day three of Kasu 5K. It's another 30 minute um walk run interval. I'm gonna knock that out and hopefully I can be productive today because there's a lot I didn't get done yesterday considering I woke up like at 10 and I went to bed at 8. That's a lot shorter than what I'm used to. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do and hopefully I make some good choices today. I'll check back in later this evening. It is certainly a beautiful day outside and look at this. I did a little better than my last run i think my last run was definitely under two miles so today i brought it over two miles and we're already improving on the speed I'm trying not to go too crazy here but this is definitely a better run than the others and i actually ran one or two of the terms but look at this view So here's breakfast donuts, don't worry. All six of them are not mine. This one is mine, and this one is mine, and that one is mine. This is coconut with some kind of, um, I, I think it's like a caramel, no idea. This is a new one, it's a white chocolate, excited to try it. I think that might be whipped cream on top. This is my favorite, it's a Oreo one with some, some kind of cream. I'm gonna eat half of it now and the other half throughout the day so i'm gonna take half of this half of this and half of that to make a plate oh my gosh guys when i tell you these donuts were scrumptious they were scrumptious this white chocolate one actually had way too much sweetness for me i could not do the whipped cream that was in the middle so i had to put that to the side and then the coconut one i usually enjoy it was um really good but i feel like i needed to have like a, a cup of coffee on the side just to really enjoy them because i'm not a big sweets person but Man, oh man, the Oreo never disappoints. The softness of these donuts, a lot of mercy, man. Salivating just looking back at this. Ugh. Um, for lunch today, we didn't make anything new. I just cooked some pasta to go with the meat sauce that was left over from yesterday. And this was lunch, meat sauce and penne noodles. For a snack today, we thought we needed some fruits, so we went and grabbed some of these long guns. Now, I think we had about two bowls because these were just so good. The best way I can describe them is if you ever had lychee or a kinep, that's exactly the best way I can describe it. Just lychee or kinep if you're Haitian. This is what they look like inside. They have a white flesh and a brownish seed don't eat the seed just eat the flesh i found these at bravo but they can also be found at farmer's market sometimes okay so if you watch my grocery haul video this is me assuming that i put up the grocery haul video you might have seen that i purchased quite a few things from bravo for the purpose of making a piece which is basically um a piece i think literally translates to spices and it's just uh haitian spices uh basically a mush <laughs> of things that are used to season some meats and fishes so i'm going to make a version of that today and keyword here being a version of it so if you're a haitian and this is not what you do don't come for me okay this is only my second time making a piece and um i'm learning here so let me learn um here are the ingredients i'm going to have in there i'm going to pour them in a the blender and i'll tell you what they are as i go this right here is the liquid that i'm using i mixed in some better than bouillon um what is it called better than bouillon uh, let me just show you better than bouillon better than bouillon better than bouillon there you go i mixed this in better than bouillon <laughs> that's why i couldn't remember it's just better than bouillon so um, it's just water mixed with some of this i don't know why i did it but i figured it'll add extra flavor can't hurt i'm also going to add some oil to this mixture i've seen people make it without without oil before so it doesn't have to be with oil like this much so just oil and water 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and add everything else. I'm adding some parsley. I don't know why I say parsley like that, but some parsley in there. Sometime, I think I add it with the sprig. Do I add it with the sprig? I feel like I shouldn't. I don't know, what y'all think? I feel like I shouldn't, so i just do this right quick. Ain't nobody got time to be... You know what, yeah, I'm just gonna add it with the sprig because I don't have time to be pulling them off. We'll just add that much. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add some green onions. And then we have some green peppers, some garlic, tons of garlic. The idea here is to add everything from like softer to harder so the blender doesn't um, get stuck like Chuck. If this don't come out good, I'll let you know. Oh, this right here was a um, habanero, habanero pepper and habanero pepper. I don't know if it's spicy or not. I hope not. Then I have some cloves, cloves, cloves. Some onion chunks and I think I'm gonna cut that a little bit, a little bit more. That much should be enough. And then I'm also gonna add one whole Maggi cube in there. A Maggi cube is basically a block of sodium, okay? That's what it is. I can't tell you what it's made of, what it's not made of. Boom. Okay. Pull up your blender. All right. Once you've loaded your blender, you're ready to go. For my blender, I had to put things from softest to hardest because the blade is at the bottom. If your blade is at the top of the blender, then you want to put things from hardest to softest because you want the blade to get to the softer things first. It should blend to be nice and smooth. No chunky pieces here. Once that's all set to go, give it a dab and taste. Make sure that the flavors are right. Mine needed a little bit more salt. So you see that I add salt to whatever I'm seasoning. But um, taste it and see how it is. If it's good, then it's good. If not, then you know. I store mine in a jar. The longer it sits there, the more the flavors really develop. So if you're using it within three to four weeks, I would say you can keep the jar in the fridge. But if not, then what I like to do is I like to pour a portion of it into a freezer bag, flatten it out, and then just store it in the freezer. So when I'm ready to use it after my first batch is done, I just kind of throw out the whole bag and then I use it for the things that I need to use it for. <laughs> for this batch of APs, I use it to season some of the oxtail, fish, and chicken that I bought from Bravo. I basically just put it in a um, Ziploc bag and just kind of massage it and really massage it and some of the meats i did go ahead and add some extra salt in there simply because i didn't feel like the ippies had enough sodium or salt in there so to bring out the flavor some more especially for the fish i felt like it needed some salt so that's exactly what i did massage those in and then i put it in the fridge because i was going to be cooking it that very same week if i wasn't cooking it that same week i would put it in the freezer that way when i go to thaw it out it's already very well seasoned as you may or may not know i also use my blender to make smoothies that's its main purpose in my house so anytime i make something other than the smoothies like soups and apis i like to make sure that i sanitize it real good and all that means is simply rinsing out whatever i made from there i fill it with some water i then add some soap 
vinegar, lemon juice, and depending on how bad it was that I'm what I made, I like to also throw in some baking soda. And I just go ahead and blend that on high until it reaches the very top of the blender so it gets all the all the gunk out. And then once that's done, I rinse it, give it a quick whiff to test the smell. If I need to run the cycle again, I do so. If not, I just go ahead and rinse it and then I set it to dry and that's how I keep my blender selling fresh. Hey y'all, so guess what? I just finished editing my grocery haul video. Yes, it's done, it's edited. And I'm actually in process of posting it right now, which means if you're watching this video, it's live. And I end up going to you find out how many grocery stores I went to when you click on the video. But um, if you're watching this video, then it's posted. The link's in the description box. Click the little info thing, you but Jay, and go check out what I bought. I had to break it up into multiple videos because otherwise you would have been sitting there for maybe an hour or so and ain't nobody got time for that. So I wanted to make sure that you could watch it in pieces because I know I like to watch my videos in pieces and sometimes I forget to go back. So I made it into multiple parts and also to maybe there's a particular store that you like that I went to and maybe you would just want to watch that part over and over again or whatever. Um, so yeah, check it out. Let me know. And then tomorrow, I'll give you like a little fridge tour, a little update on my fridge, what's going on in there, and then we'll go that way. As far as today is concerned, and just the weekend in general, Saturday and Sunday. Saturdays and Sundays are my, it's a weekend. I'm not concerned about counting calories. In fact, I don't think I'll be counting calories anytime soon. Um, so... I'm, I'm enjoying food <laughs> hopefully not to the point where I um, slide back but I enjoyed this weekend this weekend was pretty tasty and today in general I'm uh, thinking about it now I probably had one real meal and the rest was just snacking um, just snacking I didn't feel like cooking I did a lot of cleaning cleaning of meats I made some ippies, which I really hope I pulled it. I I hope I included it in this video. If I didn't, maybe next time. But I made some ippies and then I seasoned some meats to be cooked um, next week. And that's pretty much what I did and a lot of lounging. Although I feel like I've been lounging all week, but this was just mindless lounging. And it worked out because I just edited and posted, edited and posted. And so, you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> That's that. Um, tomorrow starts a brand new week, a brand new work week. I'm looking forward to it. No real plans in terms of meals or whatever. Right now, it's about 1.30 and my eyes are just wide awake. I feel like my voice sounds tired, but I'm wide awake. And man, I don't know what it's going to take for me to fall asleep. So... I'm probably just gonna edit some more and then I'll try to wake up tomorrow way before 10, hopefully around nine o'clock-ish and then get my day going that way. Tomorrow, depending on what time I wake up, it might be a rest day. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. We'll find out when we get there. If it is a rest day, I'll probably just go for a walk. If not, I woke up. You'll find out when I find out. Um, until then, good night. Hopefully you made some good choices today. If not, you have until tomorrow. So make good choices.